mobile photography is taking off and Sandmark is here with their wide lens for the iPhone XS. This is a two times wide angle lens for iPhone. It comes with a case and the lens itself uh, and it's by Sandmark. You can kind of see a before and after photo on the back of the box. That's pretty cool. It's a 16 millimeter lens with a 0.56 times magnification, 71 grams with a 42 millimeter diameter. So let's take this out of the box, see what comes with it. And I have my iPhone here so we can kind of take a closer look at it. Opening this up, we have uh, a case. That's pretty cool. Um, we've got, it looks like a bag with the lens itself. And um, yeah, that's it, that's everything in the box. You can set that off to the side. Uh, and it looks like a clip. So we can, uh, we have two methods of attaching the lens. We can either use the included case or we can use the clip. And let's just take a look at the lens itself. It comes in a really nice soft bag. That's great to see. Uh, it comes with a microfiber cloth to keep it clean. It's got a lens cap on the back and the front. We can pop this off. Wow, that looks really great. Let's take a closer look at this. This is the lens itself, a real glass lens. Very high quality, very premium. We can take a look at the back cover here. Um, it just pops right off. You can kind of see. I actually have tried this out a little bit before the unboxing. Uh, it is metal and it just screws right in. So let's take a closer look. This is the case and you can kind of see the lens can go on either the top wide angle lens on the iPhone or the bottom two times lens. I don't know why you would put it on the two times one, but we can put it on the top one and it just screws right in there. Okay. It says sand mark on it and that's it. It's a very nice snap on case. That's where the camera goes. Um, very nice soft touch matte finish. And yeah, so let's take, take my iPhone and just snap it right in here and uh, we can open up the camera app and let's zoom you out. We can whoop, kind of have a better look. So this is it. You can see it offers a very wide angle look, which is really cool. Um, and if we are to unscrew it, you can kind of see the difference. So this is wide and normal, really big difference. Let's take a closer look at this using it around the studio. Many people enjoy using their iPhones these days to record video, photos, and special moments. Even YouTubers are starting to use iPhones on a more regular basis, some people even vlogging with them. You can see this is what vlogging with the iPhone XS looks like at an arm's length with no Sandmark lens on it. But if we just take this lens and pop it on, you'll immediately notice a huge difference. This is what the scene looks like with the 0.56 times zoom of the Sandmark wide angle lens. You can see much more in the shot. It's a much more pleasant experience. And again, this is just at an arm's length with an iPhone XS. You can really see the whole setup, really adds a lot in the shot. You can see everything in this setup, the behind the scenes of the top down look for the unboxing. Everything is here. And again, if I just go ahead and unscrew this lens, you'll really notice that jump where we just, boom, punch right in. It's amazing how much this lens can really add to your shots, how much more it captures in the frame. Let's take a look at this with some photos now. Okay, so here are some photos with the before and after. As you can see, the wide angle lens really adds so much into your shot. It's a really cool effect for your photos. The lens keeps the image sharp from corner to corner, which is awesome. Adding lenses can sometimes add distortion, but this lens really does a good job. It's a very high quality mobile photography lens from Sandmark. And I think these images really do look fantastic. They're coming out great. If you're into mobile photography, I think getting a lens is a great way to add more style, increase the variability you have, and really add to your mobile photography game. And this is something that you could definitely consider. Now that we've touched on the lens and honestly how well I think it performs for photos and video, let's talk about a few of the drawbacks. First, I think the biggest one is the case and the 
snap-on device for attaching the lens to your phone. The case is actually really nice, it just doesn't add a whole lot of protection. There's not really a lay on the table design, so you do have the risk of your phone getting scratched if you lie it face down on a table. And to be honest, uh, if you wanted to take the case off and just leave the lens on, suddenly there's no protection right where the lens is. So uh, you'd have to like unscrew it and then cover it back up with the lens cap it includes. I think the case is a lot better than the clamp, uh, but I think it could also use a little bit of improvement uh, for a more snug and secure and protected fit on your iPhone. Uh, but otherwise, it does work really well. The snap-on tool, this is plastic. And to be quite frank, the the little grip that is supposed to go in here popped off. And um, to be honest, I just, I don't, I don't know how much I trust this. In fact, I don't trust it. So I would not recommend using this. I do recommend using the case. It's super nice. They do include a case. Um, and I just wish that, again, if this is on, dust can kind of get in there, which is unfortunate. And even if you do leave the case on your phone, it is pretty nice. Doesn't have as much protection as some other cases. But again, it's just susceptible to getting dust in the camera area. And for keeping your photos looking sharp and clear, I definitely recommend cleaning your camera with a microfiber cloth, which they do include kind of before you go out to take photos. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a really cool product from Sandmark. I think it's a great way to up your mobile photography game and is definitely something worth considering if you're an avid iPhone photographer. That wraps up this video of the Sandmark wide angle lens. Let me know what you think of this lens in the comments section down below. Will you be picking one of these up? I'll have a link in the video description if you wanna check this out and learn more about Sandmark and their iPhone lenses. If you use my link to make a purchase, it helps support the channel at no cost to you by providing me with a small kickback. Anyway, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.